Hello, welcome back to another YouTube video. Of course, my name is Simba Tikanifo. You remember me from the first video. The iconic Victoria Falls. And let's set the record straight on the latter. This firmly belongs to Zimbabwe. And today we're going to be doing 10 more lesser known destinations that aren't Victoria Falls, Wange National Park, and Kariba Dam. Before watching the video, make sure you like it to help with the algorithm as well as subscribing to the channel and keeping the bell notifications on. Without further ado, let's get on with it. Ba-bam! The first destination that we're going to look at is the... The balancing rocks are the true acrobats of Zimbabwe and stand as a captivating geological spectacle. Found throughout the country, particularly in noteworthy Matopos National Park and near the township of Epworth to the southeast of Harare. The rocks are nature's masterpieces, defining the laws of physics as they gracefully balance atop one another. Their peculiar formations have inspired countless legends and myths, sparking the imaginations of generations. The second destination we're going to look at is the Nalatale Monument. The Nalatale Monument stands like a riddle, waiting to be unraveled. Its obscurity has lent an air of mystery to this ancient treasure, leaving many questions waiting to be answered. The monuments are like Pandora's box of the past and are situated close to Gweru within the Midlands province of Zimbabwe. These withered stone ruins like ancient storytellers are attributed to the Kalanga Toro dynasty and are thought to date back from the 17th century. Unlike more famous sites, Nalitale offers a unique opportunity for curious minds to uncover the secrets of a forgotten era. Third on our list we have the Tsindi ruins which are located near Marondera and is our fascinating dry stone monument once occupied by the Norway people. The site covers two hectares and features unique stone walls representing prestige and authority. Archaeological evidence reveals three stages of occupation, early Iron Age settlements, later Iron Age settlements and late Iron Age religious settlements. It's a must-see beauty akin to the Great Zimbabwe ruins. Next on our list we have the Mano Pools. Mano Pools is not your typical safari spot. It's a UNESCO World Heritage Site and it wears this badge with the grace of a seasoned performer. It's a wildlife conservation area and a national park located in northern Zimbabwe. Stretching over a vast 2,500 square kilometers, it's like the Grand Theater where nature showcases its best acts. The name Mana translates to four in Shona, a nod to the four main pools formed by the Zambezi River during the dry season. It's nature's way of saying, I like my stage just so. Mana Pools has a cast that rivals any Hollywood ensemble. Elephants, buffaloes, lions, leopards, hyenas, zebras, and a host of other antelope species grace this wilderness with their presence. During the dry season, it's like watching a comedy show where animals gather around the water, each with their own humorous act. It's as if they've rehearsed their routines just for your entertainment. Mauna Pools is a place where wildlife takes center stage and nature's beauty leaves you in awe. It's a safari experience like no other and stands as a testament to the beauty and resilience of nature. And here we've got the Bride of Vio Falls. The Bride of Vio Falls is the wedding cake of waterfalls in Zimbabwe. This waterfall in Chimani Mani, which is found in the mountains above, are famed for their beauty and relative remoteness. As such, the site has become a destination for photographers and eco-tourists alike. The next two are two game parks, one being Imire Game Park, which is a captivating destination that seamlessly combines wildlife conservation with thrilling adventure. This extraordinary park offers visitors a unique opportunity to experience the untamed beauty of Africa while actively contributing to the preservation of its precious natural heritage. And following that, we have Nyanga National Park, which lies in the north of Zimbabwe's eastern highlands. In its center is Mount Nyangani, the highest point in Zimbabwe at 2,592 meters, and Mutarazi Falls at 762 meters. It is home to many animals such as the zebra, 
wildebeest, leopards, hyenas, and some lions coming from the Mozambique. Next on our list, we have Huimbashiri, which basically means singing bird. Kuimbashiri is situated at the shores of Lake Chivero in a recreational park boasting over 400 species of wild birds. It was founded by Gary Stafford, the bird's answer to Elon Musk back in 1994. By 2002, he had established the largest collection of indigenous birds in Africa, and several of their feathered residents have made guest appearances in BBC documentaries like the life of birds and eagles, alongside the ever-distinguished David Attenborough. Mashuke Day Dam is approximately 35 kilometers from Chinoy and was built in 1985 to provide water for farm irrigation. It is the third largest dam in Zimbabwe and was built on the Mukwazi River, north of Bankit. But Mashuke Day isn't just another pretty face in the dam world. It moonlights as the weekend's hottest getaway. Surrounded by indigenous trees and African bush, it's a supermodel scenery. Fishing is the name of the game here, where fish try to outsmart you like they're auditioning for a reality show. And if you're not angry for compliments, there's an option of a leisurely boat cruise, where the views are so Instagram worthy, they practically come with their own filters. Now, for those who've dreamt of a date with a crocodile, Zimbabwe is your love connection waiting to happen. Meeting these scaly celebrities in the wild is like winning the lottery, but if you're eager for an exclusive backstage pass, the Mashukede Crocodile Farm will introduce you to the crocs that have more charm than a used car salesman. Just remember, when you crack a crocodile joke, make sure it's snappy. And there you have it. Those are the lesser known destinations that aren't the Victoria Falls, Wanga National Park and Kariba. Make sure to like the video and subscribe. And until then, I'll see you guys in a bit. Bam.